Good morning. We're here, as you can see, early in the morning with the long shadows at the uh, Bobby Bowden Field at Dope Campbell Stadium at Florida State University. I have with me Tony Carter, who is one of the current Seminoles team, and I'd like him to tell you what he does. Uh, I'm Tony Carter from Jacksonville, Florida. I am currently a student athlete here at Florida State, a uh, member of the football team, and I am a defensive back, a uh, cornerback, whose job is to guard the wide receiver, make interceptions, and I'm a tackle on defense. To escape these large, crunching people who are going to come and knock you over? Well, really, my job is to knock those large, crunching people over. Well, I must say, rather you than me, I think uh, you're probably built for it better than I am. Now, Tony's come onto this field lots and lots of times, and he's sort of looked around and, and seen all the seats filled when this place is pulsing before a game. And there are about 85,000 seats in here. Uh, we can calculate that easily because somebody has to pay for them, and so we can do that calculation quite straightforwardly. However, what he probably hasn't thought about, and what I'm going to get him to do today, is to think about how many blades of grass he's running on whilst he's running around the stadium. And it's really quite difficult because it's very fine grass and there are lots and lots of small blades. And we're going to do this with, with the aid of this very expensive equipment which I brought with me. And here we have a one square meter block of polystyrene. And you can see it's one meter in each direction. And what we're going to do as part of our ideas for this is to estimate how many of these will fit in this, in this field. You probably know, you know there's a regulation size for football fields. It's 120 yards long, which is given the bits of grass at the end beyond the post is probably about 120 meters and the width is something over 50 we'll get the exact numbers from the ground staff here before we go and then we shall know uh, what the measurements of the field are so what does that how does that help us well here's our second important apparatus this is also a square meter but now it's marked out with 10 rows and 10 columns and you can see we have 10 columns counted across and then the rows I've just put in the final figure just to point out that there are 100 squares here. Each of these squares is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. That's roughly four inches and you can see you could get a couple of two by fours through there quite, quite easily. Now the unenviable task that Tony has is that he's going to look through this little square and tell us how many blades of grass there are which poke their heads through that square then multiply by 100 to see how many blades of grass are going to fit into the whole meter square and then eventually we'll scale it up till we get the number in the whole stadium. This process of estimation is really important. We're not going to get the answer to the nearest five blades, but we might get a pretty good number. So, are you happy to do this or...? Yes, sir. Okay, very, thanks very, very much indeed. So, I'll put this down so Tony can do the counting. This is a non-photogenic sort of job now because he's just doing this and I'm talking over him and he's probably going to lose count if I chat to Sorry, I do apologize. I may sir. lose count of you. You may. Such concentration. Hmm. Quite difficult. <laughs> okay. I think I'm losing count. Okay, you're there then. I'm there. You're there. Great. What do right. you reckon? Uh, I'm going to say about 980 pieces. 980? God, that's amazing. It's really fine grass. Great. That's a terrific number. Thank you very much. I'm not surprised you nearly lost track doing that. <laughs> well, that means we can now take that 980 and we'll go off to the studio and complete the calculations there. See you in a bit. Hello. We're now back in the studio, having left uh, Tony in the... Uh, stadium there and you can see from the slide uh, we're going to do we're going to convert what he's done into some estimation procedures and I hope it's going to be slightly better than just educated guesswork if for example there's a, a large tanker let's say we wanted to know how heavy it was well it's not something we can pick up and weigh uh, and we might have to make some sort of estimate and you may be aware that ships are actually not talked about in how much they weigh but in how much water they push out of the way which is the way that uh, engineers can calculate their displacement. So there's the place where we were on a slightly fuller day than when we left it this morning. Uh, there it's all ready for a game and you remember that uh, Tony and I were standing on the far side of the field uh, underneath the goalposts. So we're going to scale up the results that Tony got. He, he found that we had about a thousand blades. His, his number was 980. Well that's near enough a thousand uh, for us I think at the moment. 
And that was in a 10 by 10 centimetre square of turf. And we have a checkerboard here, which you remind you was much the same as he was counting through. The little square he was counting through is, is labelled with the number 12 there. And that was the one where we found our thousand blades. And you can see, I hope and remember, that there were 100 of those small squares within our square metre block. And so there's our, our total number of blades just within the square metre. And it's a big number already. We have 100 little squares, 1,000 uh, blades in each one. So we have 100,000 in each square metre, roughly a square yard of turf. Now, we've got to scale this up even further. We've gone from a small thing to a metre square, and now we're going up to the size of the field. This is a standard layout for American football field, which most of you will know, and it has a prescribed set of dimensions. The length and the width are fixed, and at those values, 120 yards long and 160 feet wide, and I've just converted those to metres so that we can deal with things a little bit more easily. We have some space around the, the pitch, of course, which is uh, also grassy, and if we make some suitable estimates, we may say that that's going to be about 120 metres long instead of the 110 for the pitch itself, and about 60 metres wide. So if we multiply those two numbers together, we end up with the area of the pitch as 7,200 square metres. And each of those, don't forget, has a 100,000 uh, blades of grass in it. So all we need to do is to multiply those two reasonably large numbers together, I get an even bigger number. There we are, 720 million blades of grass is our estimate for the number of, of blades on that particular field. Well, maybe we should call that 700, 700 million. We can't be accurate to, to uh, lots and lots of significant figures, so 700 is a nice round number, very close. Um, I'm surprised, really, that I didn't get Tony to do it all, but um, I'm quite pleased we didn't have to do it one by one. If you think you have about uh, 3,000 million heartbeats in your lifetime, that 700 million would be a very significant fraction of that if you were to count at one blade per heartbeat. So now, we've got a big number, 700 million. I'm just going to introduce you, if you haven't read it before, or, or remind you that there are better ways of writing rather than putting all the zeros after things. If we have the number 1, then we could write it uh, it has no zeros after it, and we could write it by putting the little zero there as a power of 10. And 10 to the power zero is defined to be 1. And we can go up one more step, and we do that again with a 1, uh, so we have 10, and then we get 10 to the power 1. And I've then gone up a few powers, and you can see that by the time we get down to the bottom, each time the same thing happens, it's the number of zeros uh, which are... Um, moved to give us the, the power of 10 on the right-hand side. And I've stopped because I ran out of uh, screen at 10 to the 8th, 100 uh, million slides. There's a big number. It's the biggest one I could put on the screen uh, in this particular font. And if you count up, you'll see that there are nine sets of three zeros. That's 27 zeros altogether. And that number would be 10 to the power 27. I find that unimaginably big. I can write it down and I can handle it in calculations, but I don't have really any concept for how big it is. Interestingly, as it says there, it's just about the same as the number of atoms in a human body. So it gives you some idea of how very, very tiny atoms are uh, when you have that number in your body. Now, let's have a look at some other uses of this scientific numbering. Let's say we wanted to do something a bit more adventurous than just the pitch. Maybe you wanted to calculate the number of blades of grass in the United States. Well, a lot more grass, but we have to make some sensible estimate as to how much. And I began this, I thought, well, who would know? So I, I looked up the website for the U.S. Park Service, uh, who have um, grassland parks dotted in various places in the United States. There's a lovely picture. We can't just look at this and say, oh, well, it's all the green bits, because, of course, in this sort of satellite photograph, trees come out as green as well, and we're not actually counting leaves at the moment. We're counting blades of grass. So the U.S area of the continental United States is uh, 9.6 million kilometers squared, a big place. How much is grass? Well, according to the U.S. Park Service, they have about 20,000 kilometers squared. That's not very big. It's about 20 billion meters squared. It sounds a big number, but as a fraction of the United States, it's not very much. So that's not a good place. We need a better estimate. So I thought, how about housing? We have about 50,000 homes, 
Some have big yards, some have small yards. Maybe they're going to average out at about half an acre, something like that. An acre happens to be just about exactly uh, 4,000 meters squared, so a half acre is about 2,000 meters squared. And that, if we multiply those two numbers together, then we end up with a reasonable estimate for the amount of grass in yards, which is around about uh, 10 to the 11th meters squared. And perhaps we've got areas in parks and we've got open grassland a bit, so maybe if we double that, we won't be far wrong in our estimate for the United States. So, we have this huge number now, 200 billion, which we're now going to multiply by the number of blades of grass uh, per square meter. It may be that we're a bit wrong because not all grass is quite as nice as it was in the stadium, but we should be about there. And if we do that, we get this huge number with 16 zeros after it, 2 times 10 to the 16 blades. That is a reasonable estimate for the number of blades of grass in the United States. If you want it in terms of numbers like megahertz and gigahertz, it comes to 20 peter blades. Uh, peter being the abbreviation for 10 to the power 15. How about other beings? I thought, well, I've, you've heard of the story, how many grains of sand on this beach? It's a reasonable question, and if we do the same sort of thing. We estimate a little bit, and then make, build it up, and estimate the beach to be some sort of length, perhaps five miles would be sensible, then this time we get an answer around about 10 to the 19 grains. And just to point out again the smallness of atoms, uh, they would there'd be enough atoms in about 30 tiny grains of sand to make up our 2 times 10 to the 19 uh, in total. Now, this is an interesting calculation. It's quite possible to make an estimate from the number of stars that we can see, the number of galaxies we can see, and knowing something about the sizes of atoms and the masses of stars, that there seem to be around about 10 to the power 80, that's 80 zeros, uh, atoms within the, the universe that we can see. And you think, that's a huge number. Well, yes it is, but your calculator goes up to a number which is much, much bigger than that a factor of 10 to the 20th. That's 100 million, million, million times bigger than 10 to the 80th. These numbers do get very big. So interestingly, the maximum number that your calculator can just about display is 10 to the power 100. And that has a special name. It's called a Google. And you can find a number very close to that. Try entering 69 on your calculator and then pressing the um, X factorial button, the, the exclamation mark button. And what that does is multiply all the numbers up to 69 by themselves. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And that happens to be the biggest number that your calculator will easily display. Well, I hope you've seen that it's quite possible to deal with big numbers. We can represent them easily. And you shouldn't feel uh, worried about estimating things. We're not asking you for the, the right answer. We're asking for something which is around about the, the right sort of size. And then we can go on to do other things. Thanks.